Hello there and welcome to round four of the World Cup. We're here at Termas today. Um, last week RNF did get knocked out sadly but um, well both of their riders are actually in this lobby. Both their starting riders for replacements. Nelson has decided to make a last minute not turn up call. Uh, oh, so Aaron Jacker replaced him as he really likes his competition, he said. So. He, he's replacing Nelson today. It's a bit annoying that Nelson can't turn up as they're not from the same nationality. That's the, uh, one of the only occurrences of some different nationality. But we'll deal with it. Hopefully Nelson can be here next week if they get through. And um, we've got Craig who replaces Touch in the rest of the world, so that's still really from the same as it's the rest of the world category. Anyway. Platt will be starting from last in both races with an additional on that penalty, so... Yeah. And actually, I, I've just thought of something. Oh dear. Oh dear. I just thought of something. Everybody needs to set a lap so that I can put him last. So actually, I think if Platt can hear me, Platt will be starting last out of people that set laps. Because if people don't set a lap, well then he'll be starting in front of them. So, so for this race, he gets him himself last. As the line's just the first lap. One minute 337. Plus, we go to the line. He's going to set a lap, which is good. And he does a 36 and absolutely wipes the field. But sadly, that it won't be enough because he's starting last. Well, last out of people that set laps. Anyway, so if you set a lap, you're basically you're guaranteed already a position. You're not starting last. I think Howard's next on the lap. And then Dodo? Oh no, Dodo's next to the line. Dodo? Oh no, he's not. It is Howard. And how goes across the line to 30, 30, uh, 33 something. Dodo goes 1.2 second, 1.1 seconds off. And that line's now going to start his lap. Craig, running number 54. If all of these guys can just set a lap, they've got a free position. Normally, not everyone sets a lap, but at this rate, it's looking pretty good. If Craig can just stay on the bike, he's gonna be in at least fourth. All the guys that haven't set laps are on lap, which is good. Dodo has gone down. Craig's gonna go to the line, and he's gonna do fifth place. Probably not the best position in the world to be. But still doing that second round of grid. Next up, Matty Hughes. The Frenchman, he's got his teammate just moving out the way. Is he going to get in his way? Hopefully, he doesn't. Oh, no, he moves out of his way. Nicely done. Here we go then. He's going to power to the line. And he goes into six. They're all going to slow. Jack's invalidated his lap. So he's going to get one guy and he hits Dodo and he's gone down. That was interesting. So Jack's going to get one that. Aaron sets a lap. So even though he set a lap, that's, very, that's not very good at all. Platt's improving. Two red sectors. Oh no, not anymore. We're going to get one more lap, hopefully. Elijah has another lap and he goes into second. That's good. As Jack has crashed, and is Jack going to have enough time to set another lap? If not, we both the pre Pramac at the back. It's going to be close. I don't think he'll have enough time. I think that might be Jack's qualifying. And um, Platt will start only from second to last. Let's see if Jack makes it around. I don't think he will. Yeah, I don't think he will. It would have been close. He it definitely would have been close. He might have had a chance. But no, Jack. Oh, Aaron Jackson, that's actually his session over. He'll start from sixth. Dodo's gone down. Not improving anyway. Howland's on a lap. Maybe he can jump onto the front row of the grid. I 
could actually just give Platt the black flex or stuff else, but he's on a lap, so I win. Yeah, we we'll get a position of a jack. So it's only one position. But it could mean something. Platt though, he looks like he's on a really good lap here. He's actually catching up to one of Suzuki. I'm gonna check now. Is there an also fire lap? Uh no, Matt is Matthews and he's on a lap. So then Platt three red sectors, Matthews three orange sectors and a lion three white sectors, so looks like there's gonna be two improvers. Platt runs deep into the final corner a little bit. He almost hit the back of Matthews and maybe he's holding him up. Cross line Matthews, he goes off and then Platt improves even more by another two temps. Absolute brilliant lap, but a shame. And it means nothing. Right. Pole okay. position is confirmed with the end of the qualifying session. Well then, so say goodbye. A lion will be on pole position for the sprint race. Would have been flat, but following his penalty from last week at Chang at turn two on lap one. A line will start on pole, followed by Dodo in second, Harold in third, good qualifying by him, Matthews in fourth, Craig in fifth, Aaron Jackman in sixth, Platt in seventh, and Jack knocks off the map in eighth. Welcome to. T and it's cloudy, I thought it was raining for a moment. Hopefully they're quick about things. Went for two more riders. This is good that they're ready up last and quickly. Shouldn't take too much time. There's no tyre wear, so the tyres aren't too big of a deal. It's actually cloudy, so I'm guessing if this was me right now, I'd probably be going with medium, medium in this race. Soft medium if you're good at not losing the front, because it is cloudy conditions with no tyre wear. So soft medium you can maybe get away with. But I think my choice, my go-to tyre, will be medium, medium in this race. Let's see what the riders do. Everyone's ready up now. So then we will get going for the sprint race. Remember, the top five do score points. So once everyone scores points, certainly next week, which next week is the final. If you're ready for that, then it'll be Qatar, the final. Anyway, though, a Lions on pole, Dodo second, and Howard in third. Here we go then. Lights are on. And it's lights out the way we go. And it's a clean start by all of them, hopefully. Yep, they'll get away nicely. So now go down into turn one. As there's a few of them going wide. As Aaron Jack has gone down and there's five. Oh my life. <laughs> five, six crashes. Six crashes. Hopefully they were just ready back up straight away. There's nothing to change. But yeah, six of them went down. They're just waiting for Aaron Jacko, then. And we get going again. Six crashes. In the first corner or two. Quite crazy. I was ready to go again. Here we go, then. For round two. Can they make it through clean this? Hopefully a lion can get a good enough launch to keep the lead, but I don't think Dodo's going to have more of an inside line, so it's going to be better for him. Here we go then, the lights are on again. And they go out, and away they go, and the lion does jump the start! A lion has jumped the start, he's got two long laps now, as they now head down into turn one. Oh, there's a lot of contact! 
But they've made three saves. No, they haven't. And Matthews has gone down and he collected Jack. But they're two crashes, so we survive. However, though. Platt. Oh, and the line's gone down and there's massive crap. For God's sake, guys. <laughs> Platt, he got a brilliant star. <laughs> Five crashes. Just stay on the bike. It shouldn't be too hard. I'm sure they're going to learn. But impressive by Platt there, though. Starting from P7, and he made it into P1, going down the straight after turn 3. So, there you go then. We're ready. Third time the charm. Can they just stay on the bike? There's only eight of them. It's not like there's 14 like round one. Here we go then. <laughs> the line's actually been given a lifeline here, as so he did jump the start, so... That's good for him. And he did go down as well. Here we go then. Round three then. <laughs> and it's lights out and away we go. And this time they're all clean off the lights. Dodo gets the launch and howling. And it's brilliant from the two of them. And they go through turn one. As Aaron Jacko has gone down. As this contact between quite a few of them. As the Pramac going through and Aaron Jacko has gone down again. And there's contact between a lot of them and oh how no that's Jack who's gone down and that's Craig who's gone down as well. Only three crashes. They hopefully we're safe this time. And then Dodo leads from Howling, but there's a three-way battle here. Into turn five we go. As a line's gonna run on. You can trade in these guys. But Platt's up into third. Oh, he's going to try and send up the inside. He's going to hit one over the curb and that. Oh! Well, that's unsettled him. Platt will take a long lap in the main race as Howling cuts the corner. Well, it's now a four-way battle for second. The Platt's going to send up the inside. Oof, almost making contact. He's going to try and get the drive out of the corner on Howling. Is he going to power it through on the Ducati? I'm going over that curve. I've had that from experience. He's going to go off his inside, though. Aaron Jack has gone down again. He's having an absolute disaster of a race. As Howling's gone down now. He couldn't keep on to it for too long. And the Dutch, well, Aaron Jacko's in last, and Howland's just gone down, so you can't need to stay on the bike then. Jack and Howell are now battling on track. Actually, Jack's going to pull a straight line, and Jack's got absolute mental straight line speed as he's caught off a load. Hopefully I'll help him get closer. There we go then. Jack, is he going to send the move? Actually, I thought to give a plate... Oh no, no, give a plate again. Not sure. Panic then. Plate is on two warnings though. We need to be careful there's contact between these two. Aaron Jack has gone down again. I, I don't know what to say about Aaron Jack. He says he's now left. Letting them down. Even if he just stayed in the race. Jack, though, he's closing up. And actually, there's a bad one at the front now because Platt is closing up on Dodo. He's run all over the curbs there. Bike bouncing.
As Platt has just got a ridiculous amount of straight on speed, he's going to ease it up the inside. But no, he's going to run a little bit deep, and Dodo's going to try and find a way through. But no, he can't. Oh, Dodo's going to go around the outside, and he's going to run extremely deep. Still about losing Jack and Howlin, but we'll watch these two at the front. Dodo can't let them get away. Just watch these two, as they are very close as well. There's contact between them. I've just gone off them, and there is contact. Howland's going to break him, but Jack's not going to like that, so he's going to fight back fiercely. Craig runs deep. All three of these are fighting for the last point, so it's going to be a big fight for the points. There's a big bit of contact there, they're going to make contact more. They go side by side down the face. Has the Lions gone down? So maybe that might bring more of them into the points now. I don't know where he's crashed. He's crossed, he crashed. Tell me. That's like big contact! I didn't see that fully, I'm not going to give Jack a warning there. As Howard has now gone to the grass, so his race is going from bad to worse now. So, that's P7 and P8 at the moment. Obviously the sprint race is not sort of the main points, but... If every other team scoring points, apart from... Yeah, every other team scoring points... It's going to make him have to work hard in the main race and score well. Platt's just checked out at the front. You can't afford to go along that though. So if Dodo can stay within three seconds, there's still always a chance. Trade's gone down, and that's going to probably howling up to six. Closest people on track. Jack and Alain as he goes over the grass. I think about lost time then. Bit of a mistake from Jack. Will he? He's, he's going to try and close it to a lion. Because he will give him an extra point. He's got two laps for one extra point. Could it be a crucial point that keeps him in it? Probably not. I say, look, very dom dominant. Do oh, I can't even speak to him. <laughs> Platt's leading anyway. And Cray's gone down again. His race isn't going too far. Not at all. Jackie's still closing in. And just those little steps. If he closes within half a second by the end of this lap, I don't think he will. I reckon he has a chance. But oh, he's a massive wobble and he's gone down! So I've said that a bit too early and that might promote Howling back up into the points. And it will! But now it's a fight for fifth again! So Howling's got a position back after Jack losing it. Platt's on full warning speed, does now have a three second lead. So he should be okay even if he does get on. This Jack runs in quite hot into that final corner. If one has to go close him down again, he's not going to be happy. But as long as he can save him for the main race. A Lion's scoring two points now. If he can score good points for the main race, Creek, I'm sure he'll be happy. And Craig has left, so... Well... Who's going to go out? Rest of the world will doubt. That's what it looks like at the moment. The French look nice and consistent, as they always are. Second and third. And Platt's leading as he does, and Jack's crashed once with these crashed twice, so... Things are just down the pike, as Platt now does have a long lap. 
He's not going to take it. But he has that three second gap anyway. Jack is catching back up to Howland. I'll tell you what, the, the race is not over yet. He still has a chance. He has to catch absolutely... He needs to go full on push mode. He's half a second to Howland. He's got a sector and a half to do it. Is it going to be enough? Is, yeah, Jack, that's just like two minutes. Uh, he is going to be close enough. Here we go. In final corner time. He's going to land and he tried his all hardest for a point. He, he could have risked anything for that as, well, top five score points that they both slide off. A moment we'll go live to park Jack had to try for a up front in the corner. The bit naughty that he cut time, that final bit there because I was even cl been close enough so wreck. that place could have maybe been demoted if he'd have even got the position after cutting that. Anyway though, Platt wins from 7th, so very do dominant. <laughs> Can't say that word today. Uh, Dodo finishing 2nd, Matthews 3rd, Alliance 4th, Howland 5th, Jack 6th. And then Howland no. Craig 7th and now Jack of 8th. Oh. Matty is in 2nd. And a Lion in 3rd. Plus not from last. But here we go then. The lights are on. And we're out. And it's an amazing start by Dodo. He's now going to turn 1. And how is going to make a massive lunge up the inside. Jack's going to send up the inside of all of them. And there's... That's Platt who's run off at turn one. Platt's made his life even more difficult. Platt's run off at turn one. He is now behind by around four seconds for the rest of them. There's loads of contact, but no one's gone down. As it looks really messy in there. It's very messy back here. Here we go then. Platt's really caught a whole second. I'm going that far back. Here we go then. Craig's going to send the move up the inside, he's going to hit the back of him, they're going to stay on the back of him. Doing it well wide, Jack takes the lead as there's contact in Craig and Howland. Howland moves down to fourth, Craig up into third, and he's going to go round his outside. Howland's going to try and squeeze up the inside. This race is going to get entertaining very quickly, here we go then. Is Howland going to try and send the move, they're going to force Craig into a mistake, Craig runs a little bit wide, Howland's going to go up the inside, but he doesn't quite make the move. He's going to send a bit early. And Jack lifts after all that. End of lap one. Jack's leading and his teammates in last. Alright, now I can give Platt his penalty. So he's got to take that as well. If I was him, because of the position he is in, I would take the long lap as soon as possible. If I was him, I'd take the long lap this lap. Just then, you don't have to throw about fighting these guys. You take the long lap and then you can f uh, work your way out and overtake him. If he's leading, I'll probably try and extend my lead. At this moment in time, I would be going to take the long lap straight away. There's a lot of good battle in here, it looks like. Jack's got a one second to lead to Craig, as Matthew's actually made a bit of a mistake there, I think. Oh no, Dodo, sorry. Howland's in close range. As I said though, the rest of the Woodenies have an absolute disaster. Craig and Toda make contact. Alliance down in sixth. Platt's now taking his long lap. So he's got that out of the way, like I said he should. And no! That's Toda who's gone down. So Howland does get in a position from it. So Howland kinda of needs to finish on the podium and all Craig needs to do is stay on the bike. That's literally it. The line moves up to fifth. Is actually moving to go up the inside of all of these. And he's going to hit him. And he's going to... 
Yeah, that was. I, th I didn't see it properly, but it didn't look good. There's actually contact between two further behind. Suddenly, the two rest of us are now on the podium, and Howland's been knocked over back, so he's been. Well. Luck's not fortune to him. Howland's on four track limits. Doden, go round his outside, there's no way. No, there's not a way. The French is racing, I've had a bit more of a disaster. Now, now run then, the bottom two positions. I don't think they would go out because, well, because they're in, because the, their sprint race was there, they're really good sprint race. So they should be good enough. Dodo's going to try and look for a move somewhere, I can feel. Jack's got a three second lead. This is absolutely perfect. Just go nicely. Howland is not going to let these two Suzuki's pass. I can guarantee you now. He's going to defend for his life against these two as he needs to do something as Aaron Jack is not here. After a bit of a problem that we won't explain. That's why he left, because of a bit of a problem that's not really his fault. Anyway, though, Howlin. He's just, well, he's doing what he can right now. Oh, Platt and Craig have made contact. Yeah, markers came up. Craig's on four warnings, so... As yeah, well... Both on Ducatis, and well, one Ducati just smoked the other. As Craig going to set it up the inside, he's going to go for everything! He's going to try and hang on, he's going to try and do everything to hang on to the third. He's going to want a podium, he's going to try and go round the outside, he's going to go round the outside! It's not going to happen though, he can't flat it out. Is he going to be able to send up the inside here though? No, is Platt going to run a little bit deep? He is. Howland's also on four warnings. A lion's in a comfortable second. There's not much going on in this race though, and as the competition goes on there won't be as many people to battle it out. So sadly, there's not much going on compared to round one, where there was double the people. I'm sure they're going to have a new competition scene. I've already got an idea for So. Stay tuned, will be announced after this competition is ended, I will tell you at the end of the video next week what it potentially is going to be and maybe when I'm going to host it, all details will be on social media hopefully. Anyway though, we'll focus on that next week because it will be a not a knockout competition hopefully something quite fun actually. Something that's going to uh, require a lot of skill within the riders. You can't fall too bad on just one bike. Platt's closing up to Reliant. He's taking another long up. He's started last. I think he can still win this race maybe. He definitely get a second. With the likelihood of him winning this race, he's got to catch four seconds to Jack. Four seconds in seven laps. He needs to get half a second left as Howland's gone down. And I think that now 
is the Dutch channel. I, I think that's it now. The two Ducatis have to crash around twice. Or two factories. This plant gets a brilliant run there. So I can actually tell the difference in their rear tyres now. Platt's using a hard rear. Lines using the medium rear. Jack has gone down! Oh my, and Platt is now just all of a sudden taking the lead just like that. Wow. He, he's thrown it. He's thrown it. It's, th it's four Ducatis in the top four. A lion's gonna fight for the front, but um, Craig's now got a long lap. I don't have to say about some of these guys. Luck is really not fortunate. Howlin's lying down in seventh now, it's not looking good for him, he's full worn as well. Matthews is in sixth. Dodo fifth, Briggs in fourth, Jackson third, a lion in second, and Platt in first, who is securing the third, and Matthews has now got a long lap as well. How is it like he's. Yeah. Not much he can do now. It's a shame. Nelson was here today, they might maybe had a chance. But I guess he didn't really care too much. As he looked like they are set to be heading out of the competition. So Suzuki boys are they're gonna about to start to battle and so do a lion and jack. So hopefully a, a roar of a battle can start up here. Jackie's closing up to the back of him. We oh, are a little bit hot into the. I'm going to compromise him a little bit. As yeah, I said, this race is not much entertainment today. Which is sad. And these final rounds won't. But hopefully we can get a good battle start between the Lion and Jackie then. As it does look like. Oh no, Platt's gone down! Platt has just. Oh. I d well, then, it looks like it's a curse. From. If you're leading the race, you're not going down. So Jack's gone out of the lead now, and the line's now in the lead. Platt's gone down out of the lead. They're all crashing out of the lead. Platt's got out four seconds. It's possible if these two start battling. Platt's really got something on his hands now. If he wants to cover it. A lion will want to fight for the first position and so will Jack. quite wide. He's gonna bring the bike back though. When he get the run he's gonna slide he got away. These two look they have very similar pace. Oh the long one runs a little bit wide he's trying to send up the inside no Jack needs to be careful that he doesn't get a long lap penalty. He's on three warnings now. Everyone else is on one warning. And Matthew's on two and Howard on four. 
these two, they don't look like there's that. Some of them are bridges in one place and the other bridges in the other place. So I can start to get a slipstream though. And you can just see plan the distance. He's already got three by two seconds, so feel brilliant from him. He's still on for this race win and he will not give up yet. Hopefully, him and his teammate Jack can finish 1 2 in this race. Jack's going to run a bit hot into that. Can't be doing mistakes like that. Hopefully, Platt starts to put on a show for us. And he comes charging forward. He's got a catch roughly about 0.7 a lap, I would say. And to know he can do. Breaks now on two warnings. Matthews has gone down to the French really consistent in race one. But now they've folded. But I think they'll still have enough to get through. Actually, the gap at the back now will be quite close, isn't it? Go to that a minute. He just can howl and fight for a bit of a constellation place. Just something. He's now got a long lap as well. Yeah, well, well. Well, 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 well. I, I have no words for howling. Mouth, words in my mouth. They can't come out. Disaster for him. Jack's giving it his all, though. He is pushing really hard, and you can tell. Look at him. He's got back up. And Platt, you can see that Ducati. Beaming with a smile in the background. You can see under the visor. And Dodo's gone down again. Jack runs extremely deep. The French, they're, they're lucky to hang on him. If Harland was to finish in front of them both, I still think the French would be okay. Oh, a lion! No! He's ruined it! And he's onto the grass! And he's thrown it away! Now two seconds behind the leader. And Platt overtakes him as well. Well then, it is a Prima Pramac 1-2 now. And they're going to have a final two and a half lap showdown to see who can fight it out for the win. Who's going to be the better man? Who's got better face? Well, we're about to find out. Platt, who crashed, is, yeah, well, he crashed, and, well, we know he could, he could recover, knowing his true speed. I mean, I mean, look at him already. It, Platt is in the same position as Jack was to a line. Last lap, as Platt overtakes him off the track. Yeah, he let him back through. I was just about to give uh, Platt a lead position there. But he's let him back through. So fair enough. I was going to give the lead position. As he did overtake him off the track. Anyway, though. How has he managed to do that? He, he's pulled. I, I don't understand anymore. He's getting two temps for him down the street, and he's managed to make an overtake. Matthews has gone down and how not to sixth position. Can Jack fight Platt? I don't know. We'll have to find out. It can a lion cat back up to Jack? That was a real question as well. Guess we'll find out. Jack is going to run and hide in the gap. He's inside. He's going to try and run away. He's going to go diving up the inside. 
and he's made it stick. That was a lunge and a half, and fair play to him. There was a bit of contact, but it didn't look too severe. From my angle, anyway. That's a different force at the end of the race. Jack, oh, he's going to run a little bit deep. At least we've got a bit of action going on now. This was something that I love to see. Class back up the inside. At least can they bring a line into battle? Maybe we can have a three-way battle for the win, which is something I'd love to see on the final lap of this race. Platt just needs to calm down. Chill out. Just carry it away. For all we know, anything can happen. A lion! I think Jack might have made a mistake or Jack. I don't know what's happened. Because the lion is now only point three behind and using that power of the factory Jacassi down the straight. Is second place still on for a lion? Here you get him from his POV. The one set up the inside! That was risky! The Jacks, I don't understand what he's doing here. Who he then? A lion! Is he going to be close to throw me? Going into turn 5. He's going to try to go round his outside. A lion's going to go round the outside of Jack. No, he's not. He's going to break hard. Jack's going to cut it back. Who's going to finish in second place? Platt's already pulled away loads after these buttons. He's going to try to set up the inside. He's leaning into it. There's a bit of lag there. A lion, he's going to fight for second. Would it be a three on front one two or will the factory Ducati man of a lion disturb him? He's got the tie to line the line, he's gonna get the run through this corner. Hopefully he leans in, Jack's run wide! Jack's wide, and the line's gonna get the run, but Jack gets forced onto the curb! Here we go then, Jack! He, he, he's gonna come the inside here already! As is he, oh my god, he's pushed him off the track! Oh my life! It's a line gonna send one into the final corner! He's not! Well then, oh, Platt slowing down! <laughs> and a lion! <laughs> what an entertaining finish! Wow, Platt slows down at the end and wow. <laughs> that was funny. Anyway, Platt wins the race. Jack in third. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Jack in second. A lion finishes in third. Craig will finish in fourth. Dodo fifth, Howan sixth, and Matty is finishing seventh. What an amazing finish we had on our hands there. Between Jack and the Lion. That was brilliant. At least we got a bit of action during that race, so thank you to them. Anyway, though, Platt did have a two second lead. He's just, yeah. <laughs> didn't need to do anything. Didn't even need to use his accelerator towards the end there. Fair play to him, though. Platt wins after, well. It almost didn't look like he was trying, he was just cruising around the track and doing what he normally does. The perfect rider he is. Anyway, Platt wins. A line finishes in second. Jack third. They had some amazing battles, that was really fun for them to watch. Craig finishes in fourth. That was good enough for them. Uh, Dodo fifth. Howard in sixth. Matthews in seventh. And I think I can confirm now that the Dutch are knocked out. So then we have our stage set for the final. It's going to be the British, the Prima Pramac of Jack and Platt, who seem to be, they look like the favourites. But the Suzuki, the French of Dodo and Matthews, they look very strong as well. And then we also have a Lion and Craig, which it should be touched next week. But if you can't turn up, it'll be Craig again, hopefully. So yeah, hopefully any of these three can win. Hopefully we've got a good battle on our hands next week. Be good fun at Qatar. So then, if you did enjoy, then tune in next week for the final, and you'll also hear the announcement at the end of the next video on what's going on for the next competition. So then, see you there. Bye.